Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to the long dark, and good morning to you, Jerry. You're looking fine today. You're at about maybe 62.5%. That medication that we got Jerry from the dam seems to be kicking in pretty well. Good job. Um, yeah, so we are about to embark on a perilous quest to find the magical spear to kill the demon bear. <laughs> But first, before we go, let's go ahead and eat some pork and beans that I found on Jerry's, uh, in Jerry's cabinet. There we go, a little dusty, but that'll warm us up inside and fill up the belly. Thanks, Jerry, really appreciate it. And we'll, uh, we'll wash that down with some Summit Soda. There we go, two Summit Sodas ought to do the trick. And we even have a coffee, which we will save for later in case we get tired on this journey. Um, that's Jerry's pot. We have a pot, we don't need it, but we are gonna pick up our bedroll. I had to sleep on the floor last night because Jerry would not share his bed, which is uh, rather small, and that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I think I picked up everything here that I wanted to. I can't really see right now. It's still very early in the morning. So we're going to head out here in a moment and go to down here. We're going to go through the tunnel and journey to the forlorn muskeg, which is down here to the south, right? And that is our current quest to retrieve the legendary spear from the hunting lodge. To kill the man-killing demon bear. The bald-headed bear. Which we will do... Uh, well, I don't know about killing him today. But we're going to go get that dang spear. So, yeah, I think we're ready. All right, Jerry. Hey, thanks for letting us stay the night. We'll catch up to you. We'll take care of this bear. We'll get her done. We're nice and light. A couple of pounds to spare. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. No time like the present. Goodbye, Jerry. Wish us luck. We'll see you later. Out we go. Ah. Fresh air. Smells like death in that cabin. <laughs> I don't know what the heck Jerry had to eat last night. Or maybe it's his infection, but I think the medication we got him is, uh, is clearing that up, fortunately. We don't want the old guy to die. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to put out a, um, a wabbit trap. Some people said that we can do that right over here in the back. See a bunch of deer over there, but I don't see any wabbitses. Uh... Yeah, let's do that before we go. We'll lighten the load a little bit more. And then we'll head over to the Forlorn Muskeg. I mean, I don't see any rabbits over here, but I have been told that if you just put the thing down here, you can catch a, a wabbit. We don't really need it with us. But eventually, we're going to want to make those rabbit skin mittens or hat or whatever the heck the rabbit gives us. I don't remember offhand. Okay, let's get our rifle out. By the way, I fixed this thing up. We cleaned it all night long. It is in pristine condition, 100%. The rifle cleaning kit's down to 31%, but I figured we might as well get it up to 100%. This is my rifle, and it may save our lives someday. We've got to treat it very well. We've got to treat it well so that it can save our lives if need be. All right, so let's move on. We're going to head over to the, uh, the tunnel where that train wreck is, and pass on to the um, Forlorn Muskeg. Seems like a nice day today, although it is a little chilly. I think when the sun comes up, that might, it might warm up a little bit. We have plenty of food and plenty of water for this trip, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, now this bunny's over there. Dang nabbit rabbit. Yeah, we should have put the thing out over there, but last time I checked couple episodes ago there were no rabbits over there whatever we'll move it later if need be there's the crows over at uh, Max's body yeah we might as well move pretty quickly here I'm not sure exactly where this hunting cabin is I don't know if it's in the forlorn muskeg area oh there goes our warming up that was fast wow three down arrows yeah this is not good <laughs> oh and the wind is picking up Holy smokes. I hope it's warmer at the Forlorn Muskeg. I already got turned. So easy to get turned here in this game. I just have to follow the ridge line anyway. These cliffs lead right to the, uh, the tunnel. But we might have to warm up somewhere if we can't find a structure. And if I recall correctly, of course, Will doesn't know this. He's not going to be happy to find out later. But there's not a lot of structures in the Forlorn Muskeg. I think there's a train car that we can uh, climb into, maybe. And I need to pick up some sticks and things, too, because we don't have a lot of fire-burning material 
And it looks to me like we're going to have to get a fire going pretty quickly. I hear wolves already. Oh, I see one up ahead. All right, here we go. Into the tunnel. Oh, it's cold here. I hope it's a little warmer on the other side. But you know what? I'm pretty sure I tested this one time, that theory. Like, thinking we go through and the game's like, maybe just reloads a whole new area. Doesn't know how cold it was where we left. That's not true. It does know. <laughs> and it maintains. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Well, not warm, but at least the wind is uh, somewhat lessened. All right, we're leaving Mystery Lake. Any last words? How about just shush up? I'm freezing my butt off and go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works for me too, Will. <laughs> All right, here we are at the Forlorn Muskeg. We need to go from east, pretty much due west, cross the whole wasteland. And yeah, let's keep moving. It's c -c 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 cold. Still pretty bright and early. Hopefully when that sun rises a little bit, we'll warm up more. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much a straight shot. Hopefully uh, we can stop at this train here. If I recall correctly, there is a train car that we can um, we can hole up inside for a little while. Get a fire going and warm Will back up again because this temp is serious stuff, man. Real, real cold. We might even have to sprint a little. That'll warm us up, right? I think so. As long as we don't run right into the waiting arms of some kind of hungry bear. I do recall a bear being around these parts. Not the uh, not the bald-headed bear, or the demon bear. I don't know if that was part of the story mode or what. I don't recall correctly, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. But there's no time to waste. We got to move. Don't want to freeze to death here on the tracks. Seems pretty quiet here anyway, and this is why they call it the forlorn muskeg. There's just nothing out here. <laughs> no wildlife at all. At least not right now. I don't see anything anyway. Just a lot of down trees. Yeah, sorry, Will. You should have worn your mittens like I keep telling you. Every morning we go outside. I say, put your mittens on. And he doesn't. All right. We'll get this train wreck right here. Let's see if we can get inside and get a little fire started. We should have plenty of fire starting material for that. That's why I brought some along. And if we don't have enough, we can probably find a bunch around here. If memory serves, there's some, uh, some coal around this train. All right, man, we got to hustle. We're going to freeze to death here. Oh, there we go. Is that coal? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, we can't get a fire started. Looks like I coal. survived another night. Yeah, you did. Night? What are you talking about? Dude, it's morning. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, I just saw a door. Yes, indeed, we do. Awesome. Make sure it's clear. Hello? Fluffy? Okay, no wolves in here. We got reclaimed wood. Awesome. Fire barrel. That's what we're looking for. Poachers? I'm not sure I can carry much more. Just chill, buddy. We're going to have a seat. Get a fire started for you. Oh, yeah. Look at this uh, backpack. Advanced guns, guns, guns. I've been looking for this issue. Somebody took it out of the library and never returned it. Found it. I guess it was the, uh, the poacher. Let's take that. And that's going to give us uh, some new objectives. Cool. All right, we'll check that out in a minute. Let's get that fire going before poor Will here turns into a Will Will popsicle, a Willsicle. Um, we're not going to mess around. We're going to use the accelerant. We've got plenty of it. And, uh, yeah, let's use a stick. Oh, 100% with a stick to start a fire? I guess with the accelerant. Yeah, that's great. Let's do it. Look how fast that is. Yeah, that's right. Just use the fuel. <laughs> Makes it so much easier get a fire going and let's dump in the put some reclaimed in there and uh put a one cedar log on two hours that ought to be enough and look at that temperature rising so fast and so is will's core body temperature i think we're out of the woods for a little while here will w will i think we're out of the, the woods for a little while here will let's check the backpack this must be the poachers That'll stuff. Oh, here. jeans. Blue jeans. Um, they're basic. Better than nothing. I'm going to take them because we can tear them down. And then the ragged thin wool sweater is pretty good. Oh, yeah. There we go. Five more bullets. This is great. Metal I'm not going to grab. Although, you know what? We will grab the metal. We might not bring it with us, but we can stuff it in this container. Energy bar. Banged up tomato soup. Some cloth. 
An extra bedroll. Yeah, let's grab all of the loot here. Even if we don't bring it with us, we can um, we can just put it in that container and maybe on the way back we might need it. Oh, it's so warm inside here. Look at this. Three up arrows. I think we can drop that gun. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Let's check that bedroll. See what the condition is. Ah, oh, it's the same. All right, let's put some of this stuff in here that we're not going to bring with us. While Will warms up. In fact, why don't we go ahead and cook up some... Well, we don't need to cook right now. Will's not that hungry. But maybe we could uh, we could do some repair work, actually. I wanted to do repair work back at Jerry's last night, but I didn't have any cloth. And I had nothing to break down. So now we have a piece of cloth or two. So let's see if we need to fix anything. I mean, nothing's in dire condition here, except maybe this toque. Uh, how long is that going to take? 25 minutes. Yeah, that'll we'll be nice and toasty by then, right? 95% chance. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and do it. Get the sewing kit here. Nice and warm by the fire here. We should be back. Oh, we are, 100%. Will's nice and cozy warm again. And the storm is not letting up, is it? Not at all. An hour and 39 minutes left in this fire barrel. So how about if we cook up some stuff and then we hit the road. Let's use the cooking pot and we'll make up this um, banged up tomato soup. There we go. Good thing we have this can opener. Oh yeah, look at that. And now we will, uh, let's cook up that coffee as well. Yeah. So then we'll get a little caffeine in the system. We got some calories to burn for the last the, the the rest of this journey, the final leg. So we're about yeah, almost halfway through we're right here at the poacher's camp. We don't need to do anything here. Oh, there's stuff down here. Old Spence family homestead. Okay. Yeah. Uh Spence, isn't that the family that fought the bear? It's the guy that made the the spear. But we don't have to go there. We just got to go right out the other side. So, I don't know. We're not going to go there today, but we might go back another time. I think I'm going to dump out. We, we don't need all the coal and stuff right now because um, it's too heavy. And we're not going to need it right now here. Drop that can. Yeah, we're still underway. That's good. All right. How we doing here? Oh, good. Good. Let's eat the soup. Mmm. Love me some tomato soup. Grab that pot. Ooh, it's hot! <laughs> Don't want to forget the pot. And now, for a little Joe. Nothing like a hot cup of Joe in the cold Canadian wasteland. <laughs> to warm a fella up inside. Oh, yeah. And I think... I think we're ready to rock. It's still nice and early in the morning. So, yeah, we got plenty of time. An hour and 18 minutes left, but there's really no reason to stick around. I don't think so. Um, let's just have a look at that side quest here. What did we have to do now? We had to call... Said call a wolf in the Mystery Lake region, call a wolf in the Forlorn Muskeg region. Oh, that's right here. And call a wolf in the Broken Railroad region. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll keep our eyes open for wolvesies. Haven't seen one yet, which is odd. Okay, out we go. Let's roll. We could explore a little bit around here, but I don't even think it's worth it. We don't need anything. We got food. We have water. Um, we have some fuel for fire. Although, I guess it doesn't hurt taking one more fur. That's good. All right, let's go. I think the wind is letting up. Ooh. It's still pretty chilly out here, though, today. Still have one down arrow for temperature, despite having just slurped down some real hot food and coffee. Oh, there we go. We got a wolfie. There's our volunteer. We're going to go cull this fella right here. And we will meet that condition. We've got to kill three wolves in total, though. Right? So we'll start with this guy. No big deal. So what else is around here? I don't think there's any structures other than the old Spence family place down there. But that place is a disaster. 
It's all ruined. You can't go inside, for example, and like, hang out, be cozy. All right, well, this should be very easy. I'm so sorry, Wolf, to shoot you like this while you're not even paying attention, but, well, it's part of the mission. All right. Let's top off that magazine. So we have 30... Is it 40 rounds, right? We have 30 in reserve and uh, 10 in the mag. That's what that means, I think. Okay, let's see if we... Did we get one wolfie? We did. We called the wolf in the forlorn mes muskeg region. Um, well, it's freezing fast, too. How about we get this hide? I guess the knife is still the best on the hide, huh? The hides are good. Um, yeah. Let's harvest it. 40 minutes, I think we can handle it. Still got that nice warming up benefit. Oh, no, there it goes. <laughs> I take it back. And we're still not too heavy, right? Fatigue is reduced. All right, let's roll. Make sure we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, all of my cool stuff is expiring here. I can't wait to get that well-fed benefit. Oh, there it is! <laughs> well-fed is back! Woohoo! Yeah, plus 11 pounds, baby! So we just have to keep food in the belly. And we'll hang on to that forever and ever. Just can't get into, like, a starva starvation mode. That'll reset the whole thing. I think it's 72 hours, right? Now, I think I see a structure down there, but we got to stay focused. Stay on the path here. We want to go get that spear. Magical spear of Spence. So we can kill the big bear. And I'm wondering if we can use that spear against any other creatures, you know? Like maybe wolves, for example. I guess that's pretty much all there are here. Oh, there's a wolf right there. Another one. All right, let's just let him go along on his way. I'd rather not have to shoot him. Save on ammo. Keep the gun clean. Sometimes they do turn around, though. Yeah, I'm curious about how that spear is going to work. I, I think it's just going to be like in a... going to be some kind of a cutscene where we brace it down with the butt end in the ground as the bear charges us. Is this it? I safe? I guess so. I'm not even paying attention. Um, is he coming back this way? Oh, he sure is. Right? You know, so the bear's going to charge you. You're going to brace the butt end in the ground. Stay behind the spear, and he's going to impale himself on it. And that'll be the end of that. And then we can uh, move on with our lives and try to find Astrid and move on with the story. Oh, we got a uh, we got a hunting blind down there in the frozen pond. Um, is it even worth going to check it out? You know what? I think we should. Because you can find some pretty good loot in those... For example, ammunition, which is always a good thing to have. Extra ammo, right? And, um, and possibly clothing. Like really nice hunting gear. I think we should go check it out. Let's keep our head on a swivel here. 360 degrees. <laughs> Stop, look, and listen. Just in case something's sneaking up on you out here. It's so quiet. Oh, temperatures are good now. It's actually warming up. Even though the sun is behind all the clouds, it's pretty warm. Uh, we have another train wreck right here. I don't see any movement around there. Uh, I guess, did we pass any crows or anything? No. All right, let's go check that blind if we can get over there. And then we'll come back to this train on the way out if we, uh, if we still have time. Might be a corpse or a container or a backpack around here somewhere. But I do kind of want to focus on our current mission. The quest! A perilous quest! To seek the magical spear. It's awesome. This looks like it's pretty well solid ground all the way over. And you know, I'm going to snatch up just a couple of sticks. Good to have them. All right. Yeah, hunters leave behind some good stuff once in a while, huh? Run! Not weak, guys. That's fine. Oh. I think those wolves found their little friend on the train tracks, and they're none too happy about it. Oh, look at this. Bullets is. Told you. Somebody dropped them right out of their pockets. Oh, and another one. 
And what do we have here? Somebody's lunch. Hope I can still eat this. Oh, we had somebody here with a doggy. Hunter and his dog. That's fun. Antibiotics. Do we need to eat right now? We don't really need to, but let's go ahead and have a granola bar. 300 calories. Stay nice and well fed. And we're a little thirsty, aren't we? Holy cow. All right, well, let's drink some water. It'll lighten us up a bit. Not that we need it, since we have that well-fed benefit, which is so awesome. I don't think there's anything worth checking out down in that direction. Let's just boogie. We don't need any cattails. So yeah, those books that you find now just give you new uh, side quests, like the, the technical books. In the survival mode, you have to sit down somewhere and read those. And you gain a few points of skill in that particular field. But not in the story mode. In the story mode, they just give you... Uh, I like that they're side quests now. You don't have to do them. I remember doing Jerry's um, survival training in the old Winter Mute. Which you, you were forced to do it. And it was kind of a slog after a while. I am going to grab this old man's lichen because... Um, we need that to do one of the side quests. Oh! I see crows now. I can hear the crows, too. Now, were they there before? Maybe I couldn't see them or hear them before, but there they are. And there's more over there. I think that must be the wolf we shot. Man, they show up quickly, don't they? Oh, and there goes some flying away. Gone. I don't think I've ever seen them flying around before. Maybe something just died. And they're going to go feast on it. How's this ice? Looks good. I don't think there's any way to tell if the ice is weak or not visually until you step on it and you get a warning that says weak ice. <laughs> oh boy. More wolvesies. Alright, where are these? Um... Oh, here we go. Crows. Ravens, whatever they are. Scavengers. Yeah, oh, we got some metal. Oh, here's a guy. Frozen fella. Just sitting right here. Oh, there's a note at his feet. Ah! Seriously? Ah! Do not get stuck, Will! Alright, looks like we're going around. Can I climb up this thing? Yeah. Watch it! Break an ankle. Ooh. Let's check his pockets first, then we'll check the note. Tinder plug. Okay, I'll take it. They're light enough. Blood-soaked note. An expletive-filled note pointing to a cache of supplies. Oh, boy. Am I going to have to uh, censor this thing? Let me check. Close your eyes. Nope. It's already censored. <laughs> Hard to read with that white background, though. Let's take it. I can't read it with that background. It's too hard to see. Um, man, I hate leaving all this wood. Feather. All right, let's, let's read that on a... Dark background. Can we get back to that thing here? Blood-soaked note. Oh, okay, this is good. Uh, judging by the amount of blood frozen on this page, the author wasn't doing too well when they wrote it. First it was the beep rancid meat. Then the sprained ankle. Then the beep convict out of nowhere. Gave him the slip by falling down into a dang ravine. Of course, that's when the beep wolves came. Dropped my stuff and ran. As much as I could with a sprained ankle. If you're reading this, this is as far as I got. Should have never tried to leave Milton. Ah, looks like he got spooked. He left Milton and got spooked by the prisoners or whatever and then uh, ran for it. And this is as far as he got before he froze. Okay, can you squeeze through there? Well, of course not. You've been eating so much. You're too well fed. <laughs> you gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Scrub brush. Although we don't really need to do any... Um, searching around here. Do we? What time is it? Oh, I think the sun is past noon now. So it's going to start to drop. But, well, these feathers are worth it. Man, there's so much wood. A lot of metal here, too, which I think we might need eventually to do some repair work on that spear. I bet it's going to be either dull or broken, and we're going to have to fix it up at the Spence family farmstead, which... I know has a, um, has a, I'm gonna bring all this wood. <laughs> we can carry it. We're pretty, pretty strong right now. Um, oh. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. All right, dropped a couple of pieces of wood. Um, 
Yeah, I do know that there's like a forge over there. We're going to have to use that at some point. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get to the next tunnel. And then find this uh, this hunting cabin. Get that magical spear. I can't wait to see it. Nothing on our six. Nope. Nothing on the six. So we should be good to go. Although this is usually when something jumps out at you, right? That's how it works in my experience. All right. Here we go. Still got plenty of daylight once we get on the other side to find this hunting lodge. And this is going to bring us to the um, broken railroad, right? We're going to have to shoot a wolf there too, obviously. Okay. In we go. 